autopsy results prove Americans died of coronavirus earlier than thought. The autopsy results of two Americans who died in early and mid-February indicate that they died from COVID-19 weeks before the first U.S. death from the coronavirus was recorded. The first death the U.S. had attributed to the virus was recorded on February 29 in Kirkland, Washington. The two previous deaths occurred in Santa Clara County in Northern California. The country released the autopsy results on April 21, revealing a few details about the victims. The first was a 57-year-old woman who passed away in her Santa Clara County home on February 6. The second was a 69-year-old man who also passed away in his Santa Clara County home on February 17. According to Santa Clara County Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sarah Cody, the two victims had no significant travel history, which means that it's likely they were infected through community spread. She explained that these findings show the U.S. had community transfer far earlier than they had known, so the virus was probably introduced far earlier as well. CNN reports that Harvard Global Health Institute Dr. Ashish K. Jha believes these new findings are significant considering that the person who died on February 6 may have contracted the novel coronavirus early to mid-January. Jha said it takes at least two to three weeks from the time you contract the virus and you die from it. He said there is a need for the U.S. to review cases from January and even December to try to sort out when the country first encountered the deadly novel coronavirus. The Guardian reports that the first confirmed case of coronavirus in the U.S. was recorded on January 21 in Washington state. Cody referred to the first three deaths as iceberg tips and explained that the first two deaths were not recorded as coronavirus-related at the time because of limited testing. The federal government had advised health officials to test only people with travel history. Cody said the region's robust influenza season may have accounted for at least a few cases of coronavirus. California Governor Gavin Newsom said that the state has recently been able to test an average of 14,500 people per day, an improvement from the 2,000 tests per day in April.